Uh, hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on scientific computing using MATLAB. So today we will continue with the least square method to find out maybe today we will do that uh, how we can do the quadratic fit and then we also make some MATLAB codes in octave just to verify that whether we can do find out the different polynomials using data or not. So let us start doing this one. So today I will give you that how we can do the least or I can call it quadratic polynomial. So, suppose we have data, so that data is given to me uh, as points x sin y i's and i is moving from 1, 2, 3 up to n. So, I am taking the n number of points where all x i are distinct and need not be equispaced. So, what I want to do? I want to apply the quadratic polynomial fit or the parabola fit. So, the I can call it parabola also. Parabola curve fit can be written as so, I will call it y that is equal to suppose I write is a plus b x plus c x square. So, this is the quadratic polynomial I am fitting and I want to find the value of a, b and c. So, this is equation number 1 I can write. Now, I can go with the same methods that suppose I have this and from here I take this. So, now I now I take the parabola like this one. So, suppose I have this parabola something the quadratic function and my data points are given to us in this way. So, that is the data points. Then I can find the error of this one from this one from this one that we have already discussed in the previous lecture. So, then I can define my error as E function of A, B and C. So, this one I can define as A plus B x plus C x square minus the y i's I am taking. So, this is at the i th points and then square and i is moving from 1 to n then I can find out the value of this one by, so I want to find the minimum error. So, I will define this with the equal to 0 del E by del B equal to 0 and del E by del C equal to 0. So, from here I can I, I can have the three equation. So, based on this three equation I can find the value of A and B C, A B C and then you I can find out the given parabola. But I can write the direct normal equation also from, so from equation number 1 take taking summation over the over x and y in equation number 1. So, I take the summation and this is y i summation a plus b summation x i plus c summation x i square and i is moving from 1 to n. So, 
So, this is my normal equation, first normal equation. Then I multiply by x i. So, the second one I can write x i y i i from 1 to n is equal to summation a I can take out. So, i 1 to n x i plus b summation i from 1 to n x i square plus c summation i from 1 to n x i q. So, this uh, I can add a question number 3. Then multiply one more time also with the x. So, I can have x i from 1 to n x i square y i a summation i from 1 to n x i square because I multiply by x i again b summation i from 1 to n x i cube plus c summation i from 1 to n x i power 4. So, this is my equation number 4. So, based on this one, so this is my normal equations. So, based on this normal equation, I can find the system. So, from here, the system can be written as, so from here I can write the system as and this is my A, B, C. So, from first equation I can write, so this is summation n. So, this is n number of values. So, it will be n. So, this is summation x i is and this is summation x i square. And on the right hand side I will get summation y i. Then from the next equation I will get summation x i summation x i square summation x i cube and on the right hand side I will get x i y i. Then I will get summation x i square summation x i cube and summation x i power 4 and on the right hand side this is x i square y i. <coughs> so, from here I will get this system. So, this system if you from here you can see that this is equal to this, this is equal to this and this is same as this one. So, from here I can say that this matrix is a symmetric matrix. So, you based on this one I can take my iterative methods or other methods to solve this system. So, I call it 5. So, now based on this one I can find out the value of a, b, c and then we are able to find the parable of it. So, let us take uh, one example. Suppose I have the given data. So, this is my x i's and this is y i's that is given to me. So, it is minus 3, 0, 2, 4, 3, 1, 1, 3. Now, I take x i square because I need x i square. So, it will be 9 0 4 16 x i cube also needed. So, it will be minus 27 0 8 64 x i raised to power 4 is also needed. So, it will be 81, 0, 16, 256. <coughs> On the right hand side I need x i y i and x i square y i. So, x i y i will be just multiplying x i. So, it will be minus 9, 0, 2 and 12 and x i square into y i. So, it will be 27, 0, 4 and 48. Now, I just take the summation also. So, based on this one I just take the summation. 
So, this summation will be in this case this will be 6 minus 3, 3. So, this will be equal to 3, this is 8, it is 29, it is 45, 353, 5 <coughs> and then it is 79. So, once I have this data, then I can find the value of A, B, C and then we should be able to get the curve fitting. So, if I solve this one, then my y will, will get, so this is the value I will get 0 0.85, 0 0.519 plus minus 0 0.19 two four nine five x plus zero point one seven eight four six x square. So that is my the second order polynomial fit for the given data. So this is the way we can define the polynomial fit for the given data. So, let us do this one with the help of uh, uh, MATLAB code. So, let us start doing the MATLAB code. So, today we will make the codes with the help of octave. So, I start with the first one I will start with the Lagrange methods. So, in the Lagrange methods I know that suppose I have the data. So, that data is given to me. So, this is my x and y. So, that x and y is given to me now from here. I will give the input as x, y. So, this uh, code is I already made for you. So, here I can uh, directly discuss this one. So, I will call it the Lagrange and in this case the input value is x and y and the output is c and l. So, what is the l? l is the Lagrangian coefficient I know and c is the coefficient of the polynomial. Now, in this case I will take the length. So, this is it gives me the length of the x. So, I call it capital N and small n will be capital N minus 1. So, I call it small n. Now, the L is a zeros I take that is of n cross n. So, now in this case I will define the Lagrangian coefficient polynomials. So, what I want to find? I want to find the Lagrangian coefficient. So, in this case what I will do? I will use two functions that is first one is the poly polynomial. So, let us uh, discuss that what is this meaning for. So, I call it poly. So, let us I define poly 2. So, poly 2 means it gives me the polynomial whose root is 2. So, this is equal to basically x minus 2. So, if I put x minus 2 that is equal to 0. So, in this case I get the polynomial whose roots is 2. Similarly, I can define poly 3 or maybe poly minus 3. So, that is the polynomial whose root is minus 3. So, this is I am finding here. So, let us I call it a p and that is equal to poly 1. I call it another polynomial that is poly 2. Now, I apply convolution of p and q. So, this is the convolution and it gives me the, so basically what it is give, uh, doing, so it is multiplying x minus 2 x minus 1. So, this is I am doing. So, now from here I can see that this will be x square. So, the coefficient of x square is 1 
now x minus 2 and minus 1. So, minus 3 x, so this is minus 3 and in the end minus 1 into 2 it is 2. So, it gives me the coefficients of the quadratic having the coefficient 1 minus 3 and 2. So, that is the, the function convolution. I, I can write that help. So, from here I can just delete this one and I can write help. So, it gives you that the documentation of the function. So, so when a and b are the coefficient vector of two polynomial, convolution represents the coefficient vector of the product polynomial. So, convolution of a and b. So, this is the way we can define. So, let us go to the. So, now in this case, what I do? I will define the for loop k is from 1 to n, v I just take as a 1. Now, for j is equal to 1 to n, when k is not equal to j, I will apply this function. So, what is this meaning word? For first, you will find out poly x j, because I know that, so after doing this one, I just take the next. So, in the Lagrange polynomial, octave chord. So, I know that in the Lagrange polynomial, I have the polynomial, suppose I have Px. So, in this case, I know that suppose I have the point x0, x1, x2 y 0, y 1, y 2. So, I will get x minus x 1, x minus x 2, x 0 minus x 1 and x 0 minus x 2 and here I will get y 0. Next it will be x minus x 0, x 1 minus x 0, x 1 minus x 2 y 1 plus x minus x 0, x minus x 1, x 2 minus x 0 and x 2 minus x 1 and this is y 2. So, this is I am going to find out. So, from here you can see that this here I will put the points. So, this is a constant value, but here you can say that this is a polynomial whose root is x 1 multiply with the polynomial whose root is x 2. So, I am using this one here, I am defining the polynomial whose root is x j, right, when k is not equal to j. And I am multiplying this one with the v, I started with the v is equal to 1 divided by x k minus x j, okay. So, I am doing this one. So, this is a multiplication I am doing divided by x j minus x k. So, that product is also I am taking. So, with the help of this one, I am able to find all these Lagrangian coefficients, Lagrangian polynomials, whatever we are defining. So, I, what I am going to do, I am going to find out what is the value of this one, what is the value of this one and what is the value of this one. And this one I can do for for the all values of the data that is given to me. So, this is I can define from here and based on this one. So, based on this one first I will do the convolution and then I multiply by all these factors whatever k is not equal to j other factors I will take and I will all this will be saved in the value of v. So, this v is I am going to have. So, now this if loop is over and then this for loop is over and then I will what I do? I will write this value of v as a, so here I have defined L as a 0 and n, it means I have defined this as a matrix. So, in the matrix in the, if I take L k and all the columns, so I will get the value of v. So, I am saving this value in the kth uh, row. 
So, this you can see that k is equal to 1. So, the first value will be saved in the first row, then the second row, then the third row, then the fourth row. So, I have total n number of the Lagrangian fundamental polynomial and that the value of this will be saved in the L function, L uh, matrix. So, once I done this one, then I can find the coefficient of the Lagrangian interpolating polynomial that is y into L. So, what is y into L? So, this is y into L. So, this is my y and this is my L. So, I am taking this as a L and this is my y. Okay. So, from here I just take the multiplication and then my polynomial will come. So, let us take a one example of this one. So, let us uh, take this script file. So, I will take first with the quadratic polynomial. So, let us this one I am doing and for the Lagrange I will do this one L this one. So, generally I make the script files so that I should be able to this one. So, I have done the command. So, I have the value of x and this y and then I want to find this one. So, let us uh, run this one. So, this is the answer I am going to get. Now, the first uh, because I am uh, printing this one for the whole loop. So, if I go for the first one, so this is the values I am getting 0.33 minus 1.3 and 1. So, this is the the coefficients of the first Lagrangian polynomial that fundamental polynomial. This is the second one and this is the third one. So, I know that I will get only three values. So, this is uh, if you see from here, the first one is saved here because this is a quadratic. So, I need for the quadratic I have three coefficients. So, that coefficient there, then this and then this. Okay. So, based on this one, so that is the value I am getting and then this is the C. So, that is the coefficients of the corresponding polynomial, the Lagrangian polynomial. So, based on this one, I will get the value of 8, minus 6 and 1. So, if you remember then in the previous uh, examples, we have solved this one. So, I have solved this one in the previous exam uh, lectures and if you see then I will go to this value. So, I will get this polynomial as 1 by 3 x minus 1 x minus 3 because I have the data 0, 1 and 3, 1 3 and 55. So, I got this one. So, from here you can just see it will be equal to 1 by 3 x square minus. So, it is x square minus minus x and minus 3. So, minus 4 x plus 3. So, it is 1 by 3 x square minus 4 by 3 x plus 1. So, the coefficient is 0.33 x square minus 1.3 x plus 1. So, this is the coefficient I am getting. The second one is from here I am getting minus 1 by 2 x minus 0 and x minus 3. So, from here it is half x square minus 3 x. So, the coefficient is from here you can see that it is minus 0.5 and 1.5. So, minus 0.5 and 1.5 and other value 0. So, similarly I get this one. So, based on this one if I find out the Lagrangian polynomial. 
So, the finally I get this data. So, the final my P 2 x the Lagrangian polynomial is coming 8 x square minus 6 x plus 1 and that is the answer and from here also I am getting this answer. So, that is the coefficients 8 x square minus 6 x plus 1. So, using this one I can find so the corresponding Lagrangian polynomial for any type of data. So, here we have taken just 3 data points, but we can have many as many data points as we wish and I can run the same code for that type of data. So, this is already there. Now, the same thing I have done So, let us uh, again try to find out for another type of data. So, let us take cubic polynomial. So, let us I take this data. So, this data is the 4 points I have taken and I run this one. So, I get this value. So, this is the 4 by 4 matrix I am going to have. So, this is the coefficient of the first fundamental Lagrangian polynomial, then second, the third and fourth and the coefficient this one. So, it means that 0 0.09 x cube minus 0 0.56 x square plus 0 0.0135 x and plus 1. So, that is the corresponding cubic Lagrangian interpolating polynomial passing through the given points. So, this is the my given point x is this one. So, it is a capital X and this is a capital Y. So, that is the points uh, I have chosen and passing through these points. So, the same way I can define with the, with the another data. So, this is the corresponding simple data I have chosen. So, in this case this is the corresponding uh, fundamental the coefficient of the fundamental Lagrangian polynomial that is a cubic here and in the end we will get this value. So, it means that this is x cube minus x square plus 3 x plus 8. So, that is the polynomial. So, after that I can see that what is my x and what is my y. So, based on this x and y this is my cubic polynomial Lagrangian polynomial passing through these points. So, I am defining this with the cubic function. So, let me uh, uh, stop today here. So, today we have started with the uh, parabolic fit and then we have done one example and then we have started with the MATLAB code or the octave code for doing such uh, type of problems uh, numerically with the help of MATLAB. So, we will continue with this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks very much.